Hello, this is That Big Train Guy, or as I can now say, endorsed by the YouTube channel Toy Man Television. Now, just before we get into today's subject, just want to say, recently, Dale and Karen of Toy Man Television, I know a lot of you saw, they put up a video where most of it, they're talking about me and complimenting my videos and what I do and telling everyone viewing to come over to my channel and subscribe and hundreds of you did and left comments and likes all over my videos and my notifications were very busy for a couple of days so it was an absolutely amazing thing so so kind of Dale and Karen to do that and really great for everyone who came over and joined me so welcome, welcome to my channel and let's see what there is to come in the future as I keep saying in all my videos there is so much to come so that's awesome thank you everybody absolutely great anyway subject today we've got from ALS AccuCraft a wheel and tie car a car for carrying wheels and ties or as we call them in the UK sleepers so here it is Look at the label there, it was available in grey and brown, either marked up with Denver Rear Grand Western or unmarked. And unusually for an AMS box, it's got a window in it. Now most AMS cars are wrapped in plastic film and tissue paper, so it's pointless having a window, you wouldn't be able to see the model. But this one for some reason has got a window. Kind of like, um, more like Buckman boxes, this is how they're packed. But this one's different, but there we go. Let's um, get this open. This is another one that I've had in my house for months. I ordered this back in the summer last year and it took a couple of months to come. I'll say where I got it from in a minute, but um, it's been in my house since about September. It's February now, so it's about time. Right. Okay, so yeah, similar to um, how Bankman models are used in hack, it's got a plastic face over the front of it to keep the model in place. Um, hold down the sellotape. There we go. And there it is. Uh, what have we got? All oh, right. It's come with some ties. I didn't expect that. <laughs> um, that's nice. Not very realistic looking, <laughs> but oh well. Cool. What else? Right. So it's got the usual plastic and tissue but only around the back and sides not across the front not fully wrapped like they usually are so right let's get it out I have to say that was a bit easier than most Usually they're there, squeezing them out, struggling. Silica gel. Cool, there we are. So it wasn't really, it wasn't exactly a high priority of mine to get one of these. I'd seen several people have them on Facebook groups and stuff, um, which I thought, yeah, that's cool, it's a bit different. I wasn't really thinking it's an important thing for me to have one, but I bought one for a very good reason. 
it was available. And I thought it's something different and it's something else to make a video about, so any excuse to buy something really. So I got this from uh, AccuCraft in the USA. Um, now they have changed the way they sell online. AccuCraft, if you look, they've got a number of different brands and companies, AMS being one, um, and they've got several others that do live steam, ride on trains and all sorts of that. So they've brought them all to one place. Live Steam Station, it's called. However, they don't actually sell outside of the US or North, North America, I think. So when I inquired to buy one, they didn't ship to the UK. Which is a bit weird because AccuCraft do sometimes sell some items through eBay. And if you buy them through eBay, they do ship internationally. I've bought items that way before. Um, but these aren't listed on eBay. I had to go through the website and they wouldn't ship to the UK. So, I had to go to Accraft UK, which is run by a guy called Graham. Nice guy. And I bought this with two other items. There was this and a pair of the same item, which I'll show in the future. Um, so he had to make the order to the US I think they buy uh, things in bulk, they put a few orders together and bring them over at the same time. Um, so I had to wait a couple of months for that order to be delivered to the UK. And then Graham phoned me and said, Simon, I've got it. Um, I had to pay for it. And then it was shipped to my home. I paid, I think, £190 for this, which the list price in America is $190. So they just made it the same number, but switched it to pounds. Now before I had this, I didn't actually know um, much about it. I tried to look up online and find out a bit of um, uh, information on it. But you type in Rio Grande wheel and tie car, it just comes up with the model. This one or other scales and things. So I couldn't really find anything about the real one. And it wasn't until I have to mention Toy Man Television again. Dale and Karen, on visiting Charma, went for a wander around the yard, and they came across the real one. I was watching the video, I saw it, and I went, ah, there it is, it does exist, and it's at Charma. So yeah, they saw it, and I saw the video, and I thought, there, there it is, now I know. Um, so, this was made for carrying wheels and ties. I can't think why you'd want those two things together. You'd have ties and rails, wheels and trucks perhaps, but wheels and ties, I, I don't know. But anyway, so if I can see I've got some nice ties to go on it. Um, I might make some more realistic looking ones at some point. But okay. Let's see how they look. <laughs> see, they're quite different from the LGB ones. Right, cool, okay, so they go in there, I guess. <laughs> they really don't look realistic, but that's it's a nice little addition. And for the wheels, have you seen my video on the Bachman Spectrum boxcar? that was delivered by Parcel Force, and they applied a bit too much force to it and broke it. Got a silver lining to that, I have some spare wheels. Every model has a, a box of bits and bobs. So um, yeah, I got some wheels. Cool. So, quite nice, isn't it? As with all AMS, it's mainly plastic. Um, yeah, the trucks are metal, as per usual. Um, maybe a few little metal features. Yeah, the little brake rigging and stuff is, um, is wire, so that's metal. 
the grey paint makes it look um, well it's not painted it's just just grey plastic I think um, it looks like plastic I think so yeah definitely needs some weathering so I'll do that at some point <laughs> anyway there we go um, let's try it out on the railroad Well, that is the wheel and tie car. Um, being a piece of mow equipment, maintenance of way, um, I don't think I'll have it out as part of a train very often when I have my eventual layout. Uh, it'll probably just be parked up on the side looking interesting. But who knows? Once I've gotten pretty good at modeling, practiced my skills, I might be inspired to build an entire maintenance train pile driver and all that sort of stuff. In fact, I know someone who did that not too long ago. Um, I'll try and find this video actually and I'll, I'll link it for you. Well worth a look. Uh, very talented modeler. Um, so, I have to say once again a massive thank you to Dale and Karen of Toy Man Television. I can't say how, see how this is possible, but if anyone's watching this now and not subscribed, to Toy Man Television, you have to do that. You have to make sure you are subscribed to them because everyone has to be subscribed to them if you're into any of this kind of stuff. They rule. And I think you should be subscribed to this channel too if you're not already. Every subscriber helps, so please, please, please subscribe and follow. There will be so much more to come, as I said. We're just getting started here, it's going to go on for years. So, as it was an impression video that got some attention recently, well, we don't know how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And to subscribe, please press the blue button. I haven't got a blue button. It's my face. Smash my face. Go on. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Take care. Eyes.